This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Pete and Sebastian Show, we're back. Sebastian Maniscalco on the other side, me here. Bro, we got to make up for the last week, dude. Why are you hearing any reverberations throughout the community? I don't. Well, normally I don't listen to Jimmy from Boston's message because uh, you know it can get in my head. But this one I listened to, and he's like, basically, I, it just played now. But if you didn't hear it, but he was like, uh, "You two talking like two two elderly people, and then at the end acting like you saved it, you know, something like that." <laughs> 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 oh, oh god so dude terrible. before we get started big turning point in the father-daughter relationship oh god what's yeah. up uh well it's a two-part the first part is uh, the seraphina one of those ch- babies that got her ears pierced as a baby is she not no having- no she, we actually talked about that recently she doesn't have her uh ears pierced yet okay well sadie just got her same thing it was like a big deal she went down with a friend and jackie actually got a, another whole so that was about two months ago, and now they the things we took them out yesterday, and she put in real earrings, and it's like it's the first sign of like what are we, what are we doing? Are you a little lady now and shit? It's like it's, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It it, it looks oh, yeah. to everybody else it's pretty and it looks normal because she's you know eight and a half, but to me it's like you look like a fool. You're a little you know you because you're a little kid. You just it's amazing how you wanted to stay that age. But yeah, as you know, uh, a while ago, many, many years ago now, uh, Sadie had stopped being able to see me naked, as it properly should be. I don't know yeah. if you were there yet with the first, with the, you know, I don't know if you want to share that. But anyway, <laughs> sec- <laughs> <laughs> That's a good spot yeah. to like bop in with where you're at with that guy. It's like uh, no, 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 no. no I uh, the, we've we've you know that's no longer which it never really was an issue, but you know like when she was one and she would walk into my uh, yeah. room and I was in, coming out of the shower, it yeah. you know it was like oh she's one, but then she's four and a half and it's like. It's more like get out of get out of here, you know. I listen. Hey, I won. I probably held my daughter naked when I was one, you know, <laughs> when she was one. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. So now it's I. All right. So now, now when a bathroom door opens, I, I, I I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's always you know it's Jackie. But anyway, so the second point of that is about uh, I don't know, about a week ago. Jackie goes. Uh, Side, 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 yeah. side note. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing that when my wife comes in the bathroom. Oh, hey. <laughs> I, I don't like that either, right? Yeah. And she goes, it's just me. And I'm like, I, I don't give a shit who it is. It's, it's, it's not me. Unless, you know. <laughs> uh, it, it, I don't know if you're dealing with this. But I feel when I'm in the shower, the only time you come in the shower is to tell me the house is on fire. Right, like, yeah, there yeah. should be no no other interruption other than that. My wife came in it, the other day, right? Uh-huh. Like, I, I could see through my shower; it's a glass. Yeah, and yeah. she comes in, and, and I and I'm like, and through the glass, I'm like, what? <laughs> and then, and she's talking to me through the glass while the shower's on. I go, I can't <laughs> hear you. <laughs> I, you, I thought you, you meant. I thought you meant. You know, no one should be coming in, and I was getting depressed. I'm like, oh man, this guy's wife still does the hop in naked into the shower with him. That's no. what I thought you meant. No, oh, my, no, my wife. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about in the like oh, come oh, in oh. while I'm in the shower. I'm, like I'm right there with you. I get that too. And and when I'm in there and the water's coming down, it says it's like I'm not home. That's what you should think. Like, I'm not home until you hear the water shut off. The other thing with that chip road, I, I gave it, I had a word to the other day because it drives me nuts. I'm like, whenever you want, whenever you want me and you say Pete, like I was in the living room with Sadie and she goes, Pete. And I'm like, yeah. And then there's silence. And I look at Sadie, I go, oh, that's my cue to go find her and go right and go, what? Yeah. I go, how come she never comes here? She's the one that needs shit. What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> so you do you do that? Like if Lana calls you, do, do you ever, does, are you always expected to go to her to, to talk? Well, my issue with that is I'll get, uh, babe, and I'll go, yeah. And then there's no, there's no nothing coming out of her. And I go, before you said babe, did you have anything in the chamber? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you yelling shit out? And I come and, and I get like. Be because you're supposed it. to go there. That's why she stopped talking. She says, babe, you say, yeah, there's no answer. That's her way of saying, now come to where I am, and I'll tell you. This, the I could be in the same room. She'll go, babe, i go, yeah. And then it'll be like a pause, like oh, like man. the brain ain't on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you're saying she's in another room. She yells, and then you got to go retrieve the message. Um, I'm expected to go retrieve. Yeah, all right. Now, the other day, she says to me, <clears throat> yeah, I think I think it's about time, like, Sadie was in the bathroom, and she just got out of the shower, just drying off, and I'm doing a cut through or something, whatever, whatever, she calls me, we talk, and Jackie goes, I think it's time now that you don't see her without any clothes on anymore, and first of all, it bothered me that you're making the decision, like, I'm weird, like, I'm fucking, you yeah, know. yeah, so, like, you keep coming in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was a little, I, I go, yeah, whatever. I, you know, that's the age now, too. So the next night, uh, Jackie went down, it was downstairs, and Sadie was coming out of the shower. I was thinking about, right? Eight years old. Never, that's it, right? Done seeing the kid naked. So while she was drying off, this can sound a little weird, but it's not, right? I was off in the back, like by the door, looking for about 30 seconds, getting one last. <laughs> glance at my little kid's ass. I'm never going to see that little Polish, Russian, Italian, Irish ass again, bro. <laughs> like, if Jackie walked in at that exact moment, she probably would have called fucking child services. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of calling right now. <laughs> bro, all that work raising this kid, I never, you know, listen, I'm not, look, I don't want to see the body once, you know, puberty kicks in. That would be like, oh my god, imagine... You think there's dads out there that that's the stop sign? First pubic hair, done. <laughs> <laughs> you want to well, shut it down before that thing starts sprouting, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and it's a it's casual fun. thing, it's just bullshit. It's not like, you know, I don't I have a, I don't touch her or anything, but yeah, so I got my last glimpse trying to make a mental note of it. <laughs> 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 oh man, oh man. See, now she's Fuck just another man. not like she's just now just a tenant guy. She's just a tenant that's, now. That's it, man. That's it. They're growing up, bro. They're growing up. But you know it's funny is talk about not having your kids see you whatever in the shower, out of the shower. That all changes when you get, you know, 80 and 85 when she's got to take care of you, right? She's got to change your fucking oh, diaper. That's not, <laughs> that's not happening. No way. I'm totally going to have a hired person do that. You know? And uh, that's going to be... I figure if I live that long, that's going to be my last friend. You know? The person that bathes me. That'll be the last person I'll ever have any meaningful conversation with. How about them Yankees? They look good this year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how the hell do you allow that? I mean, that transition where, God forbid, you get to a point where you need yeah. assistance bathing yourself. How does that first bath work out? Are you just so old at that point that you just get in the bathtub and go, wash me? Or, or, or do you... <laughs> how, how, how do you ease into that? <laughs> I, I, I that's a that's a really great question you know because as we get older you know like I, i'll use an example like when i would see adults using readers to see i'm like oh yeah. there you go that's the first sign of bye bye i'm using readers now you know and i'm like <laughs> i still have a lot of life left the eyes got you know so these little things in life that make me think of getting older and then i brush them aside when i reach those things I think the ultimate is, you know, like you just said, when someone's holding up your arm, 
to, to fucking rub the armpit as they go. Did you eat all your breakfast today? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, this is. I am in the waiting room of death. <laughs> Shit. I, I just don't know how you. That's just like one of the most intimate things you could possibly do is like wash somebody. I mean. To get in their ass and the, underneath your nuts. I mean, come on, bro. That's got to be. I mean, you're in the bathtub and you're you're looking down and somebody else is washing your balls. That's. Well, I mean, at the age we are now, I still think the, it's a little bit of a treat for the washer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but by the time I'm 80, yeah, it's a different ball game. Even if it's like an attractive young girl doing it for me. I, yeah, I know she's like gonna have a, a a cocktail with a friend later on that night. Going, oh god, I had to rub this guy's balls. Give me a double. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god, that you're gonna need a fucking bucket next to her to vomit in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it will not. It will not be my daughter. No, I'm not doing that. My father used to always say that too. He's like, "You're not bathing me. None of you are bathing me. I got, I got money to have someone bathe me." <laughs> Maybe you start before you need it, so that by the time you need it, you don't even, you know what I mean? It's like someone that oh. like shaves their head way early, even before they have to, so they don't even okay. know. You know. Maybe that's the key. Maybe you start getting it done at sixty, and they 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 like they ease into it with you, so like you're healthy. You got somebody bathing you, and they, they kind of know the rope. So when you go and start falling apart, they're like, all right, we, right. we've been doing this now for 15 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. I can't even remember when you stopped holding your arm up and I started lifting it up. Hey, it's all a blur. <laughs> oh, who are we kidding, though, dude? Our wives are going to bathe us and then go oh, out. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you tuck us in. And you know, well, Lana's ten years younger, so I told Lana, and she doesn't like to hear this. I go, you know, I'm going before you, right? Oh, oh, yeah. and she goes, oh no, no, don't, don't say that, don't say. That. I go, don't say that. When I'm 85, you're gonna be 75. I'm gonna need help getting in the bed. <laughs> Well, man, you're going to be waiting for her to get home from jogging just to help you into the bed. That's a huge gap, you know? I'm there, too, though. I mean, Jackie's running marathons. Are you kidding me? I'm, I, I fucking stopped. Uh, for, I had, bro, I had Twinkies on the ride home. I was at a gas station. I'm like, I haven't banged out a Twinkie in I don't know how long. So... <laughs> How do they taste like after you haven't had one for a while? What's the what's the review I on the tweet? I don't know if it's the pandemic or COVID, but the, I mean it was a hunt for cream, bro. They do <laughs> not have the cream in there they had in the seventies. Remember in the seventies you could squeeze that shit, lick the fucking cream oh, out, yeah. and then go for the cake. This was it's, like nothing. <laughs> do they still got those three cream? Entry points on the bottom of the Twinkie. I think that's where they fill them in the bottom. They yeah, normally... they, yeah, the nipples, man. The nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but like oh, I said, I man. mean, in the old days, they'd put them in there, keep them in there for a solid second. I mean, you'd see the Twinkie expand. This is, and by the way, I haven't seen it. Got me thinking when I was eating it. Have you seen it? Do they still do the Chaka Dial anywhere? I love the Chaka Dial. What the hell is that? That was the Twinkie. Covered in chocolate. Remember when that started hitting the market? I didn't see that. I we we weren't privy to that. We uh, the only thing that we got were the Susie Q's, those chocolate cupcakes with that like white writing on top. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it, those were tricky because if if you. Had them in the fridge too long. You go to bite in and you pull the whole frosting off the goddamn thing. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was a, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I digress. I don't even know what I was saying, but so. So no, the, the, the piercing, the earrings, what the hell happened? Well, I'm just, just saying it's all like she's become a certain age. I can never see her naked again. She's got earrings now. I mean, you know, what's next? Yeah. yeah next is a boyfriend. And then for sure, you're going to be left in the wings. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. It's I, a. It's coming to an end, bro. It's coming to an end for you. You think you're going to like the guy your daughter dates, man? The first one? Uh, no, on, none of them? Come on. Uh, guy, come on. Honest to God. You like the guy? 
I, I, this kid comes to me and he's like, uh, I, I'm the uh, valedictorian, captain of football team. I'm going to West Point. I, I, I literally leave the room and go tell Sadie, fuck him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Without protection. <laughs> Lock this in. <laughs> 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 I mean, what more do you want? Shit. Oh, God (laughs) damn, man. Oh, Oh, shit. Uh, so yeah, man, it's uh, I I noticed that today even with uh, Serafina, Lana blew out her hair and, and you know, she got curly hair, but she blew it straight. And my God, it, she looked like she was 15 years old oh, going boy. to school. And I was yeah. like, oh God, I don't know if I like this. I, and I started looking at f- photos of Serafina when she was one years old, and I'm like, what the hell happened to this little girl? And like it's uh, it it goes it goes fast, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we had another party on Sunday oh, last night. Macro, bro, Are you getting neighbors gonna complain at some point? It's like I got, I got no neighbors, bro. I got no neighbors. Well, yeah, the guy, you. the guy, yeah. the guy I got next to me. It's one of those houses where it hasn't been touched in thirty five years, and you don't even know who the hell's living there. Yeah, it's one of these houses where, you know, like I could see the cops pulling up, going, "Did you smell anything?" You know, like one of these houses. <laughs> yeah. No sign of life at all, man. <laughs> None. No sign of life. The, the gardeners still come and do what they got to do there. But when we first Ugh. moved in, we heard like tennis. They used to play tennis in their yard. Yeah. I don't hear nothing anymore. So I'm just oh. waiting for a knock at the door going, uh, you guys see anything over the last six months coming out of that house? And I'm gonna go no, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna tell me, well, we we discovered 38 bodies in the pool. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, or the gardener knew that the guy died in a rocking chair. They could see him through the glass, <laughs> but they're like, let's not say anything because you know they automatically pay us out of it. Like, everything's automatic uh, these days. You know, I mean, yeah. my mom, everything's electronically paid. These people can. I <laughs> <you know. laughs> could be dead. A skeleton could be in the fucking, <laughs> could be in the lawn chair, and they're still cutting the bush. <laughs> yeah, still it's floor, moving ready. Just get the corpse out, and it is moving ready, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, that's another thing, too, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you get older, too, you got to. You know, you're going to have to get that thing around your neck. If you're going down, you just do a quick squeeze. People come for you. Anyway. Well, you know I, you know how old I'm getting? What, how old? And not, not, that, not, not that I'm getting old, but these are things that are coming across my mind, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know if you, you're there yet, but yeah. like when I go in the bathroom or I go uh, mainly in the bathroom or let's say a hotel room, right? Yeah. I'm nervous to like deadbolt the door because, because I feel like if I have a heart attack in here, they're gonna have to like break the door down to get to me. And I wanna make it as easy as possibly can. <laughs> I totally hear you, man. I, t- I feel that way when I'm too isolated. I'm like, this would not be a good spot to go down. Like, you know, like I pulled over the other day at a rest stop. I was driving. It was like, you know, five in the morning. It was still dark. I'm like, if if, if, if I couldn't reach for my phone, it would be like 1130. Someone would be coming back with their Starbucks going, is that fucking guy <laughs> fucked up in there? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Knocking on. I'd be frozen by then. I'd be froze. Oh, God. That's a- that's it. Oh my God! It's the worst way to go, right? It's right. the worst thing. We, we couldn't get to him because he locked the door, right? <laughs> Twenty years old, I could be on the moon and be like, "Don't rush with the rocket ship. I'm fine. I'm entertaining myself." Oh my <laughs> God, dude! You ever do this, by the way, with age before I forget? I'm doing the stand master the other day, and you know when you punch in your age, it could be the day before my birthday. But until that day, I, like I'm still hitting 50. Well, I ain't hitting 52 <laughs> till it's the day of my birthday. Right, you know what I mean? It's like in, tw- in seven hours, it's gonna be my birthday, and I would still hit the. I don't know, man. Oh anyway, no, I don't bro! Do all old stuff. 
No, I, I hear you. That all old stuff. This is what we're going through. When I type my age in those things, you know what I do? Yeah. I, I go to myself, my God. I remember when I was typing in 32. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it takes me half of the workout time to get to the age. You know what? The <laughs> The only thing I'm still clinging to, bro, is all those medication commercials. They're 55 and old. I'm still I'm that still has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> somebody else's fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you think you're yeah. gonna slide right into senior citizen? Like, like when you go to a mo movie or something, and you can get a senior citizen discount? Are you gonna you gonna go fucking them getting it, or you think you're gonna? Oh God, I don't know, man. I just that's just another step. I don't know how I'm gonna react to getting a discount at Starbucks because I'm I'm 65. I know, like my mother and my father, they're using that to their advantage. But <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sitting here going at 48. I'm looking at. My father and I were just talking about this the other day. He's like, my God, I can't believe I'm going to have a kid in a year and a half that's going to be 50 years old. And I said to him, I go, I am not going to even sniff 50 with my son. Right? In order, for, in, order, in order for me to see Caruso at 50... I got to be almost a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, you can't, you can't think of it that way, right? You know, I was like, if Sadie, I was thinking about to dance at Sadie's wedding, she'd have to be married by 30 for me to have a chance. And that's assuming the second hip don't go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm even looking at marriage. Like, so what? Seraphine's going to be five in April. So I say 25 more years. I'm going to be what? 73. You'll be dancing. So 73. Yeah, I think 73. I'll be. I'll be all right to walk oh, down yeah. the aisle unless these legs give out at 50. But, um, yeah, bro. I, I had this party on Sunday. And I gotta tell you, man, you know, a lot of people, they might buy a watch or a car or or whatever. I'm happy having a party at my house every Sunday. And and I and I gotta tell you how we do this. And I yeah. and I gotta I gotta I went to a, a party on Saturday. Let me let me throw this out. This is this I got so many tentacles going on right now. All right. I was talking to this guy, funny guy, man. He didn't even know he was funny. Just of what he was saying to me, I'm dying laughing. Yeah, yeah. He's got one of these wives that uh, he's got to ask to do something. Like, um, I'm in a relationship with Lana, fortunately, where I could tell Lana, let's say if you lived here. Yeah. Right? I'd tell Lana, Pete's coming by tonight. Right? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. It wouldn't be, hey, can can Pete come by tonight? <sighs> now, in your relationship with Jackie, are you asking permission or are you making statements? I would that would be a, that would be a statement. And she'd be cool with it, yeah. But <clears throat> same same okay. as you, but so and so's coming by. Yeah. That may, it might be or, followed with a why? <laughs> <laughs> which is fair, which is fair. <laughs> And I like that with my wife too. I'm like, if she tells me she's going out to dinner with the girls, I'll say, just let me know. Let me know what night so I don't put in for comedy or whatever. It's not like, yes, you could go. You know, it's not. It's not like. And I'm I'm realizing more and more a lot of relationships out there are like this, where the guy, because I'm hearing it from the men, has to literally, like he's a child. And right. ask if he could go watch the basketball game with his buddy. Right. You know? Well, well but could it be, though, but could it be because he, he doesn't know if he's got plans, if they're locked in? You know? Well, this guy, <laughs> you, you, could, you could start to see 
based on conversations that people have with you where the marriage is, you know? Yeah. This yeah. guy, you could tell he wants to get out of the house so bad that his buddy was moving, and he asked his buddy, can I help you move? No. <laughs> when, when you're asking your buddy if you could help him move, <laughs> just yeah. get the divorce papers out. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> Offering to help move. That's a yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, but that's a big one. And, and not to throw you off here, but I gotta say, like, you know, the other day I said to Jackie, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a quick shower, right? And she goes, I don't care. Why do you always tell me what you like? Are you asking me? You're telling me like that. And I'm doing that because I'll go take a shower and then I'll come downstairs and you're finishing making dinner and like, and she'll go, oh, oh, you go up and shower. I'm always doing every, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to avoid you saying that. So, yeah. so we tend to get, they tend to, you know, program us like that. So like this guy's just used to being like, I'd say yes, but I'll pull halfway out of the driveway and then she'll call me anyway and be like, where are you going, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I get you there where you got to like, Tell your location in the home before you go do something. Mainly, I'm doing that because I'm telling my wife, basically, if you don't see me in 20 minutes, come look for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're not what? really, though. I mean, come on. No, I'm just saying, like, you get to an age where you're like. I know, you know I know. Like you're you going said, back you, to that. Tw 20, 30s. You know, you're invincible. You start hitting 50, yeah. you're like, you know, and then you start hearing people, guess who died? Who? <laughs> Frank, what happened to him? <laughs> Fuck, drop that in my heart. How, how old? 51. Yeah. Holy. Oh. Now you <laughs> His wife was upstairs. She thought she thought he was working out. She she thought it was fine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If she, knew, if she knew he was working out, they could have saved him. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, that, that's where my head's at. So... I got this uh I got this party vibe that we're doing and I'm telling you man and listen yeah it costs a little bit of scratch to have the party right yeah, yeah. but relatively speaking mm -hmm. it's not a lot of money mm -hmm. right and I'll tell and I'll tell you why we had pizzas right we had a we had a guy come and make the pizzas now 70 people I can't, I can't crank out, I can't crank out pizzas like that. I could barely make a, a no. one pizza. No, right? It's a busy Friday so, night at a, at a pizza place. Plus, I don't. When I have a party, yeah, I don't. I don't want to have. I don't have the responsibility of cooking and not being able to enjoy the party. Remember that party I had when you came over? This yeah. was back when we first met. Yeah, I was like, I was in the oven. I was taking shit out. Yeah. I couldn't even enjoy my own party. Right, right. now. I'm like, you know what? We'll hire someone. They'll make the pizzas. And I'll bring in a bartender. All right. Now, this is a this is for a kid kid party, kid and adults. Bring your kids. We're gonna have fun in the yard. All right. And I tell the bartender, make two signature cocktails. He'll make a like a, a margarita one and maybe a vodka based one. And I get the bouncy houses. Right. I gotta tell you, bro. A bouncy house is the best bang for your buck when it, when it comes to kids. And not only did I get, I got a, I got a dual slide 30 feet high. Wow. And what I do is when they blow up the slide, it's got two slides. One was like 30 feet. The other one was like 22 feet. So there's a real large one and a, a smaller yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pledge down the slide. I take pledge and I wipe it down so it, they get some speed. Oh, you know, this is the white trash a lot of this that you're saying to me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I mean, you're bringing it right there into Beverly Hills. I love it. <laughs> There's nothing white trash about pledging down a slide, bro. But bro, first of all, you're getting these things every weekend, and now you're putting chemicals on them to make them go faster. It, it, it literally sounds like an article from something happening in Florida, doesn't it? I mean... <laughs> 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 oh, so, so I try to... 
I, I mean, is that, uh, your kid, your kids must be like, oh, another bouncy house guy. <laughs> <laughs> The kids are coming down the slide. They're going, why do I smell like lemons? <laughs> I mean, three weeks ago, you had J.J. Watt going down a slide with your own son. That That's it. That's the crescendo of the fucking blow-up slides. <laughs> are they going into the pool yet? I'm waiting to, for you to tell me that, that you designed it now to slide oh, right into wait, the pool. Well, wait till the summertime until I when I get the uh, attachment and we make it a water slide. Because <clears throat> these... These have a these have a component on them yeah. where there's a hose hooked up where you could hook up a, a water like to the thing and now water comes down it and now all of a sudden it's a water slide and you, and you get the attachment which oh, is like a pool right. and they go into the pool oh, so wait, that, that is dynamite that's, that's the summer but I tried out another one yesterday <laughs> it's really a big almost like a bouncy house without the roof. And it's two ladders going across. It's that. It's like I don't know if you've ever played that game where you gotta go, get across the the whole ladder without flipping over. Right, right, yeah. The carnival, you ring the bell. They want you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had that in the yard yesterday. I gotta tell you, not a good one for kids. It's just, and even adults. I tried it. I flipped right off. It's virtually impossible to do. Right, right. But I like trying these other type of blow up apparatuses to see which one is a big hit right right like the kids tried that a couple times they're like can't do it let's go back over to the yeah so you know yeah <laughs> but i'm i'm monitoring this while i'm at the party i'm looking to see where the enjoyment is coming out of right i'm almost doing like a survey as it's happening yeah and uh, the slides are a huge hit, and a normal bouncy house where you know kids are just in there bouncing around. So that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the week off on the party this weekend, but we're yeah. coming back in two weeks to have another party, Mexican theme. It's pizza uh, uh, yesterday. I'm gonna do tacos, uh, and uh, and we'll see what other slides they got. But having a ball at home, bro. I got to tell you. You know, I, I've been on the road a lot, and now with uh, the COVID, you know, kind of hopefully in the rearview mirror here, people coming yeah. over, you know, because we missed this, man, in like the last 16, 17 months inside, and now it's fun to have, like, you know, people over and uh, and people having a good time. So basically what I'm getting an enjoyment out of yeah. is just, you know, people are making friends at this thing, bro. I see this being like a tradition yeah. where... Kids are going to be 25, and they're going to go, where'd you meet? Where'd we meet? We met at Maniscalco Madness on Sunday. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? You're going to make this your thing, you think, huh? I'm bringing people together from different schools, bro. It's like <clears throat> the, two girl, the two girls, there's two girls that met here, they're 12 years old. They went to the mall last week because they met at my party, bro. They, two girls met at your party and became friends, and then they went to the mall together last yeah. week. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's like a charter and school. I, and, yeah, and I feel like a lot of I had something to do with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, aren't you like, I know you say you're taking next Sunday off, but man, that's like, uh, just just hearing about you having two signature drinks on a Sunday, I'm like, if I have two of those things, I'm going to go home Sunday night. I can't even watch Walking Dead because I'm half buzzed. It's like... And I'm not even throwing the party. Are you like, you don't think you're going to burn out on this? Should it be once a month, maybe? I hit a wall last night, bro. I was in bed by 6.55. Wow. 6.55. I think I had, I don't know, a bottle, a, a bottle and a half of wine throughout the whole day. Yeah. And it it hit me hard. I was yeah. in bed. As soon as I put the kids down, I went to sleep. But yeah. I got to tell you. <sighs> I lost my train of thought. This is how fucked up I was yesterday. Uh, the party, the thing, people are meeting at my house. 655. 655. 655. <laughs> you ever have to do this <laughs> yeah. with like with Jackie? <laughs> where, where, where you go, I forgot, I forgot what I had to say. <laughs> and now you're now the other person has the obligation of hitting like 
Like maybe this will ring. <laughs> right, right. I, I don't like that. I don't like when I can't remember and someone's trying to help me remember because you I'm trying to think and you're rattling off shit like you're not gonna hit it. I'll think of it. <laughs> now, what about when they go into something else and then two minutes later I remember it? This shit is so boring. I go, oh, I know what I was gonna say. Put your put it put it, <laughs> put your thing away. <laughs> Whatever that was. And the thing that I forgot is it's more interesting than whatever you got currently, right? 100%. But by the way, if you're anything like me, if you went to bed at 6.55, what were you up at, like 4.45 in the morning? No, I was up there. Listen, I was up about 6, six o'clock. 6 o'clock. And what I was going to say, I just remembered it. Yeah. I want these parties to be such a staple that whatever you got planned or whatever, whatever like is going on in your life, yeah. Let's say a wedding invitation comes in and it happens to be on a Sunday. I want my party to supersede <laughs> any plan you got, right? Right. 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 That's how good yeah. these parties are, though, bro. Right. You don't want to miss them. But what, what, but why are you doing this? Because I love seeing, like, for, okay, this first and foremost, as you well know, yeah. being a parent of kids, four and a half and two and a half. Yeah. You're always looking for stuff to do to occupy the day, right? Yeah. Oh, let's go to the zoo. Let's go to this. Let's go to that, right? Yeah. And when you go to these things, I mean, come on, let's be honest. As a parent, there's only so much of this shit, you, you know, like the zoo. Sure. Come on. Yeah. You're walking around the zoo and then, you know, after 45 minutes, you're like, all right, let's take one more look <laughs> yeah. at the, the gorilla and get in the car. You know? We're, we're well, going to yeah. make a day out of this. <laughs> no, man. So... <laughs> So this, for us, selfishly, yeah. is a way that the kids could hang out right. with kids and have fun. Yeah. And we could hang out with adults and everybody's like happy. You know, we could, we, you know, I went down the slide with Serafina and Caruso, goofed around with them for a little bit. But it wasn't like I had to spend a full nine hours right. trying to entertain my kids. And that's what I did during the pandemic. Lana and I basically we're our kids best friends so now that we missed all that time i feel like every sunday if you're looking for something to do you could always go you know man, maniscalco's are having people over let's stop by is- you get f- you get fed mm-hmm. you get cocktails and you get entertainment i just don't know what else in the city offers that yeah Free of charge. No. This, it, this is going to be like the Hugh Hefner family friendly version. That's how famous your party is going to be. Have you yeah. been invited to the Maniscalco Sunday Bash? Oh, I'm sorry. Maniscalco <laughs> Madness? Yeah. yeah. Every Sunday, clockwork. No matter where you are, you know that thing will be going on. Okay. That's it, a commitment, that, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, this thing started with 20 people. Yesterday it got up to seventy. This wow. thing could swell by the end of the year to a thousand people. <laughs> you're gonna need you're gonna need valet parking. You're gonna need permits, bro. Man, that's a, uh, that's so, a big yeah. commitment. I, I could, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. I hope I hope when I come to town. Well, actually, I'm coming. It's gonna be Easter Sunday, so the Sunday uh, I'm there. So. What better, what better way to celebrate with a fucking Easter egg hunt in the backyard oh for seven yeah, for Sadie. seventy kids? <laughs> I was say, tell Sadie is probably going to be real bunnies there. Knowing <laughs> <laughs> Lana, who knows what's going on, man? We got we rented a hot air balloon and we're going to have them drop the eggs. <laughs> There's candy in them. I love it. Oh, so yeah, so that was Sunday. Saturday night, Lana and I, and I got we got to do this more often. We did a yeah. date night, <clears throat> and we went to this restaurant, and uh, <sighs> just a wonderful experience. I mean, the the, the food was top notch from front to back, right? And now in LA, you don't it, it's it's unbelievable, but no masks now, right? Oh man, isn't it awesome? It's like I was reborn. It, it really is. It's it's just. I, I was telling Jackie just the other day. I can't. I can't believe how like quickly everyone is just like off with the masks and like back at life because uh, 
I just can't wait, man, right? Date night with the wife, like, oh, I took it for granted for so long, you know what I'm saying? For granted, bro. Took oh. it for granted. Would, uh, were they wearing the mask serving you still, though? That's still happening, right? No. Oh, no. nice. Just, like, if you just looked around, you would have no idea that we just came out of a pandemic. There's no sign, right? Just back to... Well, there's my thing. Yeah. Now we're going to see who the people are like that are walking around with these masks that yeah. like in, like enjoy it mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. now you don't need it now you're going to start seeing people like oh yeah look at what he, look at this guy this, mm -hmm. this guy's gonna win so now you're gonna start seeing the people like that i, I don't know for whatever the reason are still gonna wear it <coughs> What, what, I was ready to call nine one one. No, no, what I don't the hell was going on? I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. No, I, yeah. I, bro, I know exactly. I'm right there with the. Uh, I got a. I know a couple kids already that like they just announced that the masks don't have to be worn starting Wednesday at in schools in New York. And I was around a couple other kids, and they were like, "Well, I'm going to still wear mine anyway." You know, I, that's all I can say about that. But like. Sadie today was school today. We're filming here on a Monday and this Wednesday the masks come off So she was in school today. This is the governor said they come off and another girl goes. Oh, I'm so excited We don't have to wear a mask on Wednesday and the teacher goes well We don't know what we're we're doing yet. Well, we're still waiting to hear Right meaning like the mm. superintendent. Yeah, listen yeah, yeah, yeah. once the governor says these kids don't have to wear them if, if the school still tries to do that are you kidding me, man? <laughs> in this town, are you? I said to Sadie, if if on Wednesday you still have to wear your mask, say I want you to look out the window because you're gonna see your dad getting handcuffed <laughs> by Mister. And I know the security guy's name. Let's just say Mister Brown. By Mister Brown, he'll be handcuffing me. <laughs> she laughed. So, oh, so one of the cast listeners <clears throat> sent me a while ago, and I had said it on the on the on the cast. They called the unmask mask. They're made in America. And you wear them, I had mentioned them, and you can breathe. They got, you can barely see, they got tiny little holes in them, but they're designed to breathe. It's unbelievable. You don't even feel like you're wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. They provide no protection. They just look like that you're wearing a mask, right? Gotcha. gotcha. So they work so good that we got a couple for Sadie for school, right? Yeah. And then uh, I, I'm already, like, I the past three weeks with her, I've been going, pull it down, all your masks, pull it down, make them make you put it up, make them make you put it up, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's like she'll get on the bus, and she has it below her nose, and she looks at me through the window. So we turned a friend on to these masks, and the friend's got the masks for their kids, and they're like, these are unbelievable, they're great, thank you. So... The one kid comes home the other day and says that my gym teacher says I can't wear that mask and gave me a, you know, a, like a C, whatever, one of those real masks. Um, but back in the classroom, my teacher lets me wear that mask, but the gym teacher says it has little holes and I'm endangering the other students. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, man. Right? Same teacher that's, you know, taking it off to eat an egg salad in the lounge <laughs> ne next to the science teacher. Right? That guy? That guy? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just want to... People oh, don't see God. things the way I see them a lot anymore, and it's really bothering me, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like crazy. They see him the exact opposite of me. You know. I know. Bro. Uh, I know, bro. Uh, it's it's it's, it, well, it's 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 frustrating because also on top of that, you have that comedic mind, and you have almost like a sixth sense to pick up on stuff that no one's seeing, right? Yeah. And you got to figure like you're walking around town with a third eyeball, really. I mean, when it comes down to it, <laughs> right. <laughs> right? You're like a you're like a, a a detective, just looking, looking, looking. Yeah, finding exactly. Yeah, it's not even that I'm looking; I'm seeing it. I feel like sometimes I got X-ray vision, like I can see through walls. And I'm like, hey, you don't see this? Like, you don't see what I'm seeing? I can't. I can't even process that another person not seeing it. But when you think about it. When you when you put it in that context where you got like a third eyeball that no one else sees, it's it's understandable. 
<laughs> that, oh, that must be the when you see something that they don't see, you're like, that's my third eyeball seeing. That's, <laughs> that's why they're not seeing that. I hear you. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, man. Yeah, man. It's getting wild as far as, um, man, whatever. With, I don't know where to go with that. I want to. No. No, there was a. Speaking of the cast, you, you started to say a cast listener. Is, was that. They oh. turned you on to this mask? Is that what it was? Oh, I told you that. But you, what I wanted to say about this was, um, I don't know if it was a cast listener, but I was playing in Woodstock Saturday night. Cool theater. Um, had a great time. Met people after the show. All, you know, really fun time. So I wake up today and there's an email Monday morning from a woman going, um, I was at your show in Woodstock and... I just want to say that opener uh, came on and me and my husband laughed a lot. And then you came on and we were laughing so hard. We had tears in our eyes. But then you said you weren't going to get political and you got political. And, you know, there's one particular comment. And she goes, and then the rest of your show was so funny. But I have to say, we didn't laugh as hard after after you said that political stuff, which I did. I wasn't political. It wasn't about anyone's views. And it just got under uh, my skin, man. Oh, I, I'm bothered, and I wasn't even performing. Yeah. Yeah, right. right? right? <laughs> you, know, you know what the problem I got is? Yeah. That they wrote you. That, that is my problem. And I responded. And uh, Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have, but I did. Well, the the, what, the the opener, who's no one I know, his closing bit, because you know what, you, you, you buy the curtain, you usually hear the last bit. Yeah. Uh, something about going to have sex with his girlfriend, put a condom on, dad came home, they ended up playing a board game or something, and he was wearing a condom the whole time, and he felt the dad could smell the rubber, you know, something like that, right? Just So my email to her, I said, um, <laughs> Oh, I heard the opener's last bit about the condom on his dick. Did you send him an email, too, or just me? <laughs> <laughs> right? And then I go, do me a favor. Don't ever come to another one of my shows. <laughs> That's exactly what I wrote. I told my mom that. She says, good for you. And I go, mom. And it's not that she was offended by the bit. And it's even if she didn't like the whole act, which she did. But even if she didn't, it's not any of that. It's just that she felt that she could just reach out to me and tell me what you just don't ever come again when i go see billy joel and he does uptown girl i don't email him and going i love the show till you did uptown girl that sucked it kind of ruined the rest of the show for me I, uh, you don't get to do that <laughs> she's probably like listening to this going why not it worked flawlessly look at you cackle <laughs> And put you and put you into a fucking downward spiral. Oh god. <laughs> I was at the bus stop with my daughter huffing and puffing cause some yo-yo living in Woodstock it took time off from knitting a sweater for a fucking maple tree in a front yard to email me. <laughs> That's what they do there, bro. They make sweaters for the trees. Like I thought she was gonna be into that joke about buying <laughs> So so did you get a response back on, on your email? Oh, no. I, I think based on the kind of woman I felt like where she was and where she's living, she probably just went for a long walk after that in the woods to find herself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think uh, if, if that was a Long Island lady, I would already get a fuck you. My husband <laughs> and I, we know where you live. We'll come up to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So I had a. Uh, I had an, not an incident, but there was a uh, a guy in the audience. This is at the comedy store over the weekend. He had a cash shirt on, right? Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry. From the stage, these cash shirts, they stand out, bro. They do. They do. Don't they? I mean, it just says the cast, and it's black and white, but God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally looks as if the person... Is on fire. That's how. That's how. How they stand out. I'm like Jesus. So I don't know if you've had this happen to you, but when they wear the cash shirt, right? Yeah. They think they have this connection with you, right? 
mm-hmm. that nobody else in the room has because they listen to the cast, which is probably <laughs> true. But that don't give you license to start chirping during the show, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you're not my brother or my sister, you know? You're, I appreciate you getting the tea and listening to the cast, but yeah. I can do this, cast. <laughs> <laughs> like, he bought the shit. <laughs> He bought the shirt, and it was a license to talk during the show. <laughs> oh. No, I mean, the guy said something. We had, like, a fun exchange. It wasn't anything where it really disrupted the show. But I've noticed yeah, yeah. that the people that buy the buy the, the, t- the shirt think they have a, a ticket to to the microphone. <laughs> right, right. Well, and now you say this, though, man. This might, probably isn't a good thing to say because... Last week you said, I, when you're wearing them, I can see you, but, you know, if other people don't know when I'm doing the show. So a woman this week just ordered one and said, is there a way to pay extra to get a rush on it? I want to wear it for March 4th for Sebastian. Yeah, you're playing so well. Like they, they, now they want to have this connection. I'm going to have to turn this over to uh, south of the border factory, if you know what I'm saying, guy. <laughs> well, bro, I'm, tell- what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, by the, by the end of the year, uh, I'm... Yeah. I might go out and, and it'd be 17,000 people in cash shirts. <laughs> oh, so, man. All right. Just a quick reminder. March 12th, I will be at the Paramount on Long Island. There's still a few tickets left and no more vaccination proof necessary. They just made an announcement. They told me they dropped that like March 1st. So if you want to come to the show in the Paramount, but you're not vaccinated or don't have proof of vaccine, don't need it anymore. Go to pcorielli.com for all my dates. I'll be in Buffalo after that. Um, also, Sebastian mentioned the T-shirts. I know some of you are waiting on the double XLs and the triple XLs. It's like seven or eight of you that you're up to two weeks waiting. Now, I almost got them. There's a little delay. Almost got them. We're almost ready to go. So I got all the orders. And if you placed an order a long time ago and you didn't get it, feel free to email me. But I, I, I'm pretty good at making sure they get where they need to go. So and thanks again for everybody ordering these things and for listening to the cast and for supporting the Pete and Sebastian show, man. We really appreciate it. Back to the scheduled programming. So um, anything else I had on the docket here? What else you got over there? You got any? Uh... I, I, I got it. Have you had this? I'm sure you have, right? Especially maybe it's because of the age we're reaching, but a couple of my friends, these are actually, well, two comics actually that I go way back with, and I think it's the same thing of them. I really do. But uh, I'm getting more in messages. Um, at the end of the message, if, uh, I love you, man. Like, Men, as we get older, I'm finding, and I got a couple of regular friends leaving the I love you. And it's not that I don't love these people. I do love these people. But, um, you know, what do you think about You got any friends doing that on the regular now, leaving, ending the message with love you, man? No. It's, uh, no, bro, I'm, I'm not getting that. But you know what I do get sometimes is... Uh... Which makes me feel good is I'm getting sometimes, hey, I miss you. I, you ever get yeah, a I miss yeah. you from a man? That's, that's, that's his way of saying I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's almost even more bouncy than I love you. I miss you. The guys who say they love me, I love them too, but I don't miss them. Like if they were, uh, you know what I'm saying? I love them way more than I miss them. <laughs> So, so when you get a lot and I love you, yeah, are you doing it back? Well, I was, they're usually in messages. <clears throat> Only one friend says it at the end of the conversation, and I I go with the yeah, love ya, man. I go, I love you. Man. Oh, you you went to you went to what what love ya? What, why a? Not yeah, you. yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ooh, see, I feel like you're doing the love you just because you're getting to love you. Like, I do love this would, person, but listen, you know, I've said it to friends time, time, once in a while, you know, because I felt like saying it. But when you're saying it to me, I, I you know, I don't want to have to say it right back to you in that moment just because you're saying it to me. You, you know, I mean, like, I, you know, I say it when I want to say it. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, is is the I love you coming after a statement like, hey, what a great game, uh, the, the, the Jets game. I don't know if you saw it, uh, but I'll, I'll hopefully I'll talk to you next week. Love you. No, because most of my calls now with good friends are catch-up calls. You know what I mean? It's not casual. Yeah. I don't really, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't really do that. That maybe with my brother a little, but so at the end of it, it's like, ba ba ba. Good talking, man. Yeah, same to you. Love you, man. I love you, man. You know, and I go, oh, bro, I love you. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, this is right. it. But I do God. love the person. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go. I love you too. I what know. are we like? You know. I know. I, there's a way to do this, and it's not through text. It's got to be a verbal. It's got to be like a verbal, like, uh, it's more of a tone than in writing. You know what I'm saying? If you say, man, I love you, brother. You know, it's like, it's casual. But you put that in writing, it's like on the other side, the way I'm reading that in my head right. is the guy's going, I love you, man. No, but like, he's saying that to me. This is a phone call. Oh, this is a phone call. Yeah, and he's ending it with great hanging, good talk, you know, great talk. Yeah, it's nice to catch up. I love you, man. I'm like, man, I love you. You know, and I'll go like, he'll go, I love you, man. I'm like, you're the best, bro. I love you. Like, I kind of say it like that. Oh, oh, man. It sounds fucking weird, bro. It does. It does. But, you know, to that person, I think it's like, whatever. He could get, he can have the heart attack we all talk about tomorrow and i told him i loved him i can sleep at night because that's how i feel about the guy you know so yeah, some people are, but you didn't you didn't you only said it because he said it no i'm saying that's how he feels that's why he's oh, saying that's i how love he you feels yeah but yeah exactly i i'm almost thinking about i was telling jackie about it. i was like i'm thinking about not just i'm just thinking about you know oh here's the other one i say a lot this is even better same bro same Ooh, you say that verbally? Yeah. What do you think? I love you, man. Same, bro. Same. We go way back. You know, like that. And I, like I said, Oof. I do love this guy, but I'm not going, I love you too. Turn out the light. <laughs> bro, I, I almost I almost need to know who the guy is. Yeah, that's all fair. That's for the special show. <laughs> 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 what a teaser. What a teaser, bro. <laughs> yeah. What a teaser. You want to find out the name? You got to sign up. <laughs> we might as well tell people this is what we're doing. We're going to go on Patreon for uh, uh, the, the cast is going to say the same. You're still yeah. going to be able to get the cast once a week, but we're going to do an extra show per month. And we're also going to put a couple other perks in this. For an extra charge. Now, are we money hungry? Absolutely not. We've been doing this thing basically for free for eight years now. Yes. Right? Eight years. Yeah. Eight years. Oh, yeah. and for, for, for pittance. All right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not like this is a, a life-changing experience. But from taking the feedback and hearing uh, from a lot of the people who listen, they're looking for more. Right? Right. So we decided to give more, but for a small fee. I think it's what, four ninety nine. We're gonna charge four ninety nine a month. And on this extra cast, we're gonna be doing some different things. We, I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna, we're not gonna over promise and under deliver, but just know that on this extra cast, there's gonna be some surprises. All right? Yeah. Now well put we are we are in the process of doing this, I'm not going to tell you guys just yet how to get it. I'm just giving you a warning that it's coming, all right? And when it comes, it's going to come big and heavy, and all right? Beautiful. So just, just, just be prepared for the onslaught of an extra show per month with the Pete and Sebastian experience or show. Right. I don't even know why I said experience. But that's what's happening here. We'll give you the information on the next cast. But this is a, something we're going to try. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, we're still going to be doing this thing once a week. Yeah. Right? Any any Absolutely. any, ad, any added um, that was so comments well, on it? Well, I mean, 
I love the whole idea of we don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. Well put, the whole thing. But um, I was also thinking, what's going to be nice about this is like, I know my mom. She ain't gonna drop the four ninety nine. She's not even gonna know how to get the four ninety nine or certain relatives. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. there's a couple of nice stories that I I feel like a little more loose saying there because you know I I, I in my head I'll go who's not doing the four ninety nine that that aunt that <laughs> <laughs> yeah I I guess a, a a good way to look at this is like um, this is basic cable. And what yeah. you're going to get is a premium channel. I like that. I, I like that. Yeah. Man. Man. Not that the basic cable's bad, but the premium channel, you might hear something that you wouldn't. Right? Yeah, it's going to be. Basic it, it, cable. Yeah, it's not going to. Yeah, that's it. Well put, man. All right. Yeah. I'm excited so for happening. I'm very excited for it. And I, I hope you guys sh sign up for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And, um, Man, man, I just can't. It's, I'm just glad we're keeping this thing going. And to do that as extra is going to be that might be the one. And again, I still got the, I got the whole thing written out, bro. We got to do that newlywed game, uh, you, you know? Well, yeah, mean, newlywed game. You, you you might see Lana and Jackie on this uh, on this new <laughs> on this new platform a little bit more, or a little bit more. They're, they're not even on this, but invite some other people on. Who knows? Who knows what's what we got in store? But uh, it's going to be special. So just just wait for the uh, the big announcement as far as where and when to get it. But it's coming and it's coming soon. And it's coming in hot. Um, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to go watch the sunset with my family. Nice. Uh, you've been listening to the Pete and Sebastian show. We appreciate all your listenership, and uh, we will see you next week. All right. Good hanging, bro. Good hang. Good hang.